No. Okay. Next. We have next. There's got to be somebody next. This is elk, after all. We Go ahead. Glenn. Glenn Bunch, for the record, Mineral County. Some of our guys was questioning Mike Hunt, 4161. Um, Hunt, 223-231-241-242. Why the large drop in that area? They said, you know, that's where they, they hunt. They put in to go up there, and, and they were asking. They said, it's a archery hunt. It's not that big a threat. Why the big drop? And that was my question is to try to get some answers to take back to my people. We didn't want any increase. We're just looking for an answer if we could get one, please. And as I stated earlier, the demand success um, was, you know, what we used to get the 13 tags. And, uh, mm -hmm. and I know, I, I don't see Corey or Dane, you, no one from Lincoln County? No. Um, it, over the years, uh, we, we've had some very, very interesting quota meetings on elk. Um, they, they've, they've been free entertainment, uh, for sure. And what's happened a lot is Lincoln County would, would uh, throw out um, a proposal to reduce the rifle tags and then to shift those tags into the muzzleloader and archery. And so historically, if you were to go back over the last four or five years, you'd probably see this, this you know, higher muzzleloader and archery tag. It wasn't necessarily our recommendation, but it was, it was, it was their um, bartering to try to reduce the harvest and the rifle, shift it to the lesser successful weapon classes. And, and that probably has also caused some people to see that number to be quite a bit, of dif quite a bit of different than, than in the past. So... That's just a little bit of the history and the why. All right. Um, let's public comment. Let's go finish public comment. Oh, go ahead. Mr. Dixon. For the record, Paul Dixon, Clark County Cap. One of the questions that came up at our cab meeting, and this is directed at Mike also and, and Tony, is, and it was kind of brought up earlier, if we have higher <coughs> success rates and you have in the demand success ratio since we have one season, what will that do to the overall population with the amount of cows that you're giving tags out for? I mean, if the success rate goes up, I know that when I go cow elk hunting, I've been with people that I've hunted with, we've had 100% success rate on cow. And if you're putting it in one season, you get snow and you bunch these things, which is likely in a late season, I would think your success rate could be well above 50, 60% or more with people, even if you got a lot of people out there. I mean, once you bunch up elk, you can just chase them around in the bottom and people can just start whacking them like cordwood. I know when I hunt in Utah, I've hunted there for eight years at a late season cow elk hunt, which is the first week of January, and our success rate is, over the last eight years, we've taken 64 cow elk out of 65 tags. So I can tell you that late season, when you bunch them, it's pretty much like hunting cows, <laughs> domesticated. Ooh, and I'm yeah. just concerned that you're going to make major population shifts with the numbers you have, assuming that you had lower success rates. Well, you know, you never know until it finally happens and every unit group is different I mean there's, there's no one alike some have more wilderness some have less some have much more of a road network some of them don't um, but our experience is when you have three foot of snow on the ground elk don't care if you have three foot on the snow a foot on the ground vehicles have a difficult time you guess so it, it is, it, it's not just a one-sided approach to understanding will the elk automatically run into my truck and I can kill them. There, there's a lot of country from the top of the mountain to the valley and they could, they could hold up even in three foot of snow but yet the hunters may not be able to get to them. If it's really intense, then yeah, they will get pushed down. They're always going to be in bigger groups that time of year. Um, but there is as in like in Lincoln County, a lot of timber. Uh, you know, you, you can only glass so much. You've got it, you gotta jump into that timber. There's quite a bit of timber. And some of the benches, not all of them, uh, below the shells and, and below the Egan's. So we could be, you know, maybe underestimating five percent uh, slightly the, the success. Okay. Um, 
So, you know, it's, it is hard to say because for that particular unit group, 111 through 115 and 222, um, we haven't had a late season. Cast. So. All right. All right. For the public comment. Can I just follow up with that? Um, We'll have lot. You know, do you have a question for him? Um, uh, just more uh, to. We'll have yeah. lots of questions. Okay. Well, he may be able to correct now. me. He's no, got actually, I was going to no. say I, I agree. Okay. I agree based on, and that's in the 221, 222. Yeah. We'll have lots of time. I just want to make sure we get all the public comment. For the public comment, nobody. That's it. Public comment. Close it on Elks. Okay, so Come back to the mission. Commissioner McBeth, you're on. Um, you know, I was just going to uh, echo what Mike uh, was saying. Uh, you know, in units 222 and, and 221, you've got, uh, for, for one thing, within, within those um, two units, you've got three wilderness areas. So that's your first issue that you're going to have. And, then, and if we get the snows uh, that a lot of times we do get in uh, December, then uh, uh, it's going to be very difficult. I made this comment when we were trying to set the seasons and that the issue was is if you put this season in December, that uh, if we get bad weather, um, you know, it's been my experience that the hunters, uh, you know, are just not going to be able to get around. And, uh, and so you'll have uh, less. So I, after looking at this, at first I was a little shocked at the numbers, but uh, uh, once I heard your, uh, uh, you know, what you believe is going to be the success rate, I, I would agree with this. All right. Um, when we, we're, not, we're not quite there yet, but when we do get around to to the um, making a motion on this something I'd like to see we set the antler list separate and do the antler first to get, it'll get a little too complicated so whenever we do it we'll get that we got comments let's go with Commissioner Capro then Commissioner Cavan okay just as a general outline uh, in looking at the hunt book <clears throat> we've had an increase of uh, roughly 1200 estimated increase in population from 12,300 to 13,500, which is roughly 10% increase in the herd. Most of the parameters set forth in here look pretty favorable. I, I guess I am a little concerned about the fact that uh, what it really amounts to, in looking at the at the recommendations from the department, is an additional 60 tags from last year. For about a seven and a half percent increase in in tags, uh, this would be including the uh, all. I'm talking strictly just about bull, bull tags. Bull, yeah. got it. And that so, although there's an increase of 88 percent, or I'm sorry, of 88 tags, for about 11 percent in the resident elk and or any legal weapon hunt which tracks pretty well with the population increase overall. Uh, there are some change the differences, as we've seen in some of the uh, discussion that took place, uh, uh, the Washoe suggestion on the concern about that one hunt. But the, uh, I guess what I'm saying is, is that you track pretty well with some variation within it with the population increase that uh, and the tag recommendations getting into the um, this, I think the situation is the fact that you're trying to get to the numbers the cap numbers and I think there is a good reason to increase the number of uh, setting aside the total at this point in time that there is a good reason for increasing those numbers and, you know, as, as you've said, it's probably going to, you're not going to really know how well it does until you do it. And, uh, I hope that the hunt works well. But you've really added uh, about almost 1,200 um, cow elk tags in last year, about 52% increase overall. Um, <clears throat> and so uh, there, that, the discussion probably should be really on that. Uh, you know, we should have some more commissioner input as to what the, the appropriate number, what the appropriate number should be. But I think on the elk numbers and the overall, we pretty much track with what the population increases. Mr. Kevin, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, 
maybe a, a quick request from Mike. Um, in the any legal weapon hunt, uh, any legal legal weapon hunt, Mike uh, Bulls uh, 161. We have the early hunt. Uh, could you give us some numbers? Uh, <laughs> I know you're busy. <laughs> could you give us some numbers that if we uh, made a recommendation of qu a quota of 10 for that early hunt, what that would, uh, how that would change the the number of animals available based on success rate, number of tags available uh, for the middle and the late hunts, so that we would know what those numbers are. Right. Um, and but I. Uh, I, with the caveat that we leave a uh, non-resident uh, tag uh, in the early. Can you give us somewhere along the line before we get to a motion stage so that we know what we would be acting on if? Well, the uh, success rate... Um, oh, no, I'll forget because it's going away. So the last year's... Uh, Early rut hunt in Area 16 was 83 percent, 10 out of 12. Um, you know, and it, it actually it's it's interesting. We've had some people go unsuccessful there. I think we've gone from anywhere from 50 percent to 100 percent. So, yeah, I, I think 80 percent is probably going to be the success that you would you would expect in 16 in that early rut rifle. Now we've never had um, a late late rifle hunt. But uh, last year's late hunt, which was in November, was 55%. Um, okay. And, we, and, yeah, 61, Tony's showing us. I do have it by early, late. That's right. So 61% for a three-year average. So you, you can maybe say 60% for that November hunt. In Area 16, the December hunt, I, I have to admit, think it's going to be slightly lower than 60, you know, maybe 50. But that's that's just a guess that you know because we've never had a December hunt. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is I don't want to raise the uh, uh, early and affect the overall uh, number of bulls that we take out of there right. if we're going to take. You know, go from the recommendation of one to say ten. Uh, I, I don't want to over harvest. Yeah. You know, during the middle of the light. So let's say you added three tags. Sure. Let's say you added four tags to get to five. Well, we added ten, let's, like you said. Okay, okay well, <laughs> let's go with what he said. <laughs> Dang, Navi, you caught. Me. Okay, let's go with his example, and then we'll go with others. All right. Uh, let's. Okay, so you increase it ten. Um, you're, you're going to get you're going to eight bulls killed, uh, whereas uh, we probably would have only had six bulls killed uh, in the in the you know if you were to pull a couple of tags out of the late late and one out of the late hunt or the middle late, so you'd probably would only need to uh, uh, you probably reduce it by more than nine. Um, so instead, of, so if you added nine to the early to get ten, um, maybe maybe remove uh, six and six, and you might get about the same harvest. At eleven or twelve, okay. Eleven or twelve will equal nine, give or take. Six, six, seven, seven, something. Okay, we had more question. Well, let me ask question about caps first. Where are we? Uh, in comparison to the population caps, so, according to, the, to these models, in the different general areas, I would ask um, our regional staff to, to help me out. Um, some of them are complex. Uh, some of them aren't just unit group has population objectives. Some of them is. Within a unit group, we've got four different population objectives that were. Oh yeah, maybe like the. So, but I don't. I don't East have those. Creek area or the. Yeah, I don't have them area. memorized. I have to admit. So, maybe. Come on, you want me to rig me them off at East Regional Pass? Come on up. up. <laughs> I don't know if my computer will last if I come on up. Um, we're gonna need. 
It's got to be on the record somehow. If we can, there's a, probably an extra plug-in up here. We got, we got, we got a cord or a plug-in. <coughs> yep, we got an extra one. Bring up your charger for you. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully it won't last that long. <laughs> okay, uh, Ken Gray, Department of Wildlife. Sure. Um, so, if we if we go 061. Um, we really don't have a population objective. It's more based on monitoring. Mm -hmm. um, our philosophy in that one is to hold it, to hold it where it is, or drop that a little bit. Uh, we feel we feel that we've um, that that elk herd has just really increased, and we want to we want to be able to see what that elk herd is going to do based on the resources that are, that are out there. Um, if you go 062, we're sitting at a population estimate of 553. Uh, or 543 and our population objective is 500. Um, in 072, we're at 1620 and our population objective is um, 1220. So that's that's probably the area that we're the most the most over right now. Um, 073, uh, we're at 456 and the population objective is, is uh, 200. And there's some complications in between 072, 073, um, 075 and that those elk are wintering in one area and going into another area but you'll see um, some pretty heavy duty quotas in in unit 072 that's, that's starting to address some of that that population objective um, issue I mean in 75 we're sitting at 117 and our population objective is 100 um, 076 uh, 1314 um, our population objective is 1170, uh, 078, uh, 336, population objective is 340, um, 078, uh, population objective <laughs> is 3, I think I just said that one, 091, um, population objective is 313, and the objective is 150, uh, 104, we're at 354, um, population objective is 770, um, 111, we're at 4312, and our population objective is, um, for a high, high objective is uh, 4620, and 131, we're estimating uh, 298, and our population objective is 360. <clears throat> what did you say that uh, 076 was? Excuse me. Yeah. 076, we're estimating that at about um, 1314, and the objective there is uh, 1170. 1170 up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So in the region, if overall, um, I mean, we've seen our we've seen our um, calf ratios, especially in Elko County, um, with with Awesome Springs, with a fire, with 1.2 million acres of turning shrubland into grassland. Um, we're seeing unprecedented calf ratios, and our high quotas are a reflection of of trying to bring these quotas, uh, our population <coughs> objectives, back down into calf. All right. Area six up there, the the and we'll be talking about the unit groups 066466 through 68. What with those numbers they're talking about, why isn't the quota higher? The proposed quota higher. I mean, for that far over objective. No. <coughs> well, for that for that area, we're only 40, 43 animals over object, objective, and I think we have what's what's the quota? Or I think we're uh, like the. There's an early late split. There's 56 so rifle co cow in the early and 58 in the late. Yeah, so we we're, we have a pretty high quota in there, and our our objective with that quota, based on last year's success ratio, is to bring that bring that uh, elk herd back into 500. But well, that was just that one unit you said was 062. Well, when I when I say 062, I mean the whole oh, unit. You mean the, the whole entire whole? unit group? That's that's uh, the first number of the unit group. Okay. So. Okay, question, Mr. Vogler. Uh, all right, 
have heartburn about 113. Why why did you cut the tags in 113? You know, I talked to Kurt about that, and he doesn't have a um, he he his his rationale was that the reservation elk. Um, it, it was more of an oversight on that. If you want to bump that back up to what last year's quota, or even go a little higher than that, we're 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 fine with that. So, it just it, it was more of more probably of an oversight on his on his part than anything. Because the you know just last year's the first year we had no snow to even push them out of Utah. Right. They don't go east off the trout creeks, uh, deep creeks because it's they're in Bonneville Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. They come into 113, 114, and now 115, and then the other half will drop into the reservation. They won't go out on that desert. They also head south. So, in the event that that thing piled up, that that's a little disingenuous for the amount of use in there. No. <laughs> okay, Commissioner Pearl, and then we'll have Commissioner Kevin. Yeah. Let, we'll uh, let me ask you this. Do you do population objectives on uh, elk, or do you do population objectives on all species? <coughs> um, we mainly do population objectives um, on elk, um, mandated yeah. by the statewide elk plan. Um, it's the only it's the only plan document that we that it mandates, and it's of course generated by the controversy of elk, um, the livestock industry through the legislature. Okay, so you don't do population objectives on other species? No, we do not. No, no we, we're not mandated. We're not mandated to keep any other species at that deal. I might, I might add one other thing where I've got the stage. Um, we've been working with Idaho. A lot of our elk in 061, particularly in, in 072, drop into drop into Idaho, and it, and it creates kind of kind of a problem for us because when we start hunting them in Nevada. They, they move, drop into Idaho and they're not available. Um, Idaho finally has agreed to, to start having some significant cow hunts. Um, I think they're looking at 200 cow tags this year along the border, which will do two things for us. Help us chase that elk, that elk herd, you know, get additional harvest on it. But it'll also keep, maybe keep those animals from, from disappearing into Idaho. So, you know, we're pretty happy that we've had success. It took, it took Idaho, I think, some of the thing you're talking about, Mr. Vogler, of, uh, if you have a, a herd that's in an area that you don't know if they're going to be available and, and you don't want to put a whole bunch of tags out there on the, on, the, on the chance that they might not come and that was what, what Idaho's problem was is they, they didn't know for sure if those elk would be out there and they didn't want to put a ton of tags but I think they've slowly developed the confidence that there's at least going to be a huntable number out there so that's, that's a good thing for us. Well, if I may. Uh, oh, so we, we had Commissioner Cavan, I was on call next so. Okay. I'll get him and then we'll come over to you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> Mike, um, I, I wasn't able to catch all of those numbers, but um, and I realize we probably can't get down to objective in, in one hunting season, but do we have any, or are, are any of these units uh, expected to still be over uh, uh, population objective at the end of this hunting season? I, I think the Yo 72 um and uh probably the the 073 because we we don't put as many tags in the 073 because um we're still learning about that herd we've got seven callers in that area that are going to fall off and there's that that interchange between 072 and 073 that this wintering deal and, and we're still not sure how many of those elk will come into 073 now that we're hunting and we did see a shift of of not as many elk coming into 073 um that's that's probably the primary area, two areas that we're still going to be significantly over cap after this hunting season. All right, thank you, um, Mr. Vogler. Do we have you at any time ever had? And, and I keep, hate to keep harping on this, but whatever. Both the Goshute Indian Reservation and Deep Creeks have a unique situation when it comes to elk, more than deer. Deer actually come into 113 out of the, those areas and make for some great late season hunting. But with the elk, where most of the deep creeks in Utah are wilderness. So the pressure's really, really light there. And then the reservation obviously restricts because they sell tags. 
is there any chance we could sit down with all the parties involved and and, just, and, ha and have a meaningful discussion? I know we had some talk that we were going to have a joint meeting with Utah and Wendover at some time, but that is, you know, more unique even than Idaho because you have the restrictions of the go shoots and the fact that the hunting pressure in the deep creek is almost zero. 2006 was the last time, sp spring 2005, 2006, last time we had deep snow in that country that even moved those up. And then this last winter, not only did it move them, it moved them into 114. Uh, it's a terribly, you know, and, 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 I, and I envision this for that Idaho border, 1100 elk and 076. There's got to be some Idaho elk coming into there. There's got to be even some Utah elk coming into there, possibly. Mm -hmm. it's a, it, it, it may be an unfair balance there, too. So. Yeah, and, I, and you know, I'm going to plead ignorant on, on some of the areas you're talking about. I just haven't uh, yeah. got up to speed on that. But I, I can't see where her, we're meeting with uh, some of the surrounding states can hurt anything and it's and, probably a good idea. And for you sportsmen, you're getting elk that you ordinarily wouldn't get because no, technically I'm, if they're in the go-shoot reservation, they belong to the go-shoot. If they're in Utah, they belong to Utah. So <laughs> the dynamics is different. Yeah, it's... All right, um, question for you up there. You know, I know pre last uh, year we'd heard a little bit that there was too much congestion in some of these areas up there, 061, 2, and they're worried about quotas. But and I wandered up there with other other pe hunting with other people that had tags, no gun, really, Mr. Game Ward. Oh, he's not here. Anyways, and uh, and you know I, it was interesting. There's a lot of people up there, but that's that's big country, you know, and it's amazing numbers of elk too. I'll just throw that out there. Opening more than we saw like 29 before. He shot a six by seven, and there was bigger elk than that observed. It's what amazing country. That was actually unit 061. But then I wandered over in a couple other units with another person, and it's amazing country. Amazing numbers of elk. You still saw people that hadn't seen an elk, but yeah, we've seen 300 elk in four days, and they haven't seen one. He's, what do you say? <laughs> you just you have to shock. I guess that accounts to some of the success. Um, but I was I was impressed that there really wasn't congestion, at least in what my mind. I've hunted in Colorado a little bit, but it's been a long time. There's congestion there. Go ahead. Yes, sure. And when you're ready, I'd I'd like to make a motion on just the antlered elk uh, part of these uh, hunts uh, when when you're ready. All right. Let's see if there's any more questions here um, from the commission about the antlered portion of this <coughs> specifically. And, we have quite more questions about antlerless. I guess we could take it up later. Let's try to focus on one portion. Think nothing. Now go ahead. Okay. Uh, take a stab, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'd like to make a motion on the uh, elk antler uh, depredation hunt 4102, as the department recommends. And uh, to include in the motion, uh, hunt 4151 uh, on uh, unit 161 to 164, 171 to 173 early to uh, bring that back into uh, align with what the department recommended instead of one and make a recommendation for 10 in that unit. Uh, because we didn't uh, reduce the archery in that, and so I'd leave the archery the same, but we would uh, put it, we'll reduce it from what the department recommended to 10, and then in Hunt, uh, mm. Meaning increase it? Increase it. Increase it to 10, one to from 10. 1 to 10, yes, I'm okay. sorry. Okay. Because, uh, we wanted to, that was the whole, when we set these uh, seasons, we wanted to give the rifle hunters a couple early hunts. And if you look at the success rates, they're, they're a little, they're more, but uh, I don't think significant. And on hunt, and also included in the motion would be uh, muzzleloader hunt 4156, as the department recommends. Uh, hunt, archery hunt 4161. 
as the department recommends. Wait, wait, wait a second. Yeah, hang on. What's that? 4156. As recommended. Okay. Went too fast. Yeah. 4161. As the department recommends. Okay. And then uh, on the non resident, uh, Hunt 4251. As the department recommends. With the uh, with the total being 104 instead of 98, and the uh, hunt 4256, which is muzzleloader non-resident, uh, total quota of 11 instead of nine, mm -hmm. and with the non-resident archery hunt 4261, to change the total amount to 18 instead of 14. And that's all the antler, antler, elk guns. I'll let somebody else do the antlerless one. Right. It's a motion. I'll second it. The motion from properly moved and seconded to prove the seasons as outlined. Can you? Um, I would like to. I only saw okay. one change. Yeah, that's correct. That I, I would like. I want you to. F yeah, I want to flip back up to that one change. And that's the only, ch and all the antlered is only one change, and that's the one outlined there, which is 161 to 164, 171, 173 early, from one to ten. Okay. I, okay. And are you going to take those I, out of the? Out of hold the, on, hold on. Wait, one at a time here, Commissioner Capero. I, I seconded it to to get to discussion because it was suggested that you might want to reduce the middle and the late hunt there by six or seven. Which to accommodate increasing the one hunt from one to ten. So, so you, you didn't do that in your your motion, did you intend to or not? But say that again. Well, for the all three hunts in uh, 161, 164, the so forth, you increased the uh, the early hunt from one to ten. But you, uh, I didn't hear any any uh, corresponding decrease in the mid and the late hunts. It was suggested we probably ought to reduce each one of those by six or seven to accommodate the demand success for the other. The last year quota was 49 total, right? Yes. And it went to 65? Yes. Well, let's see, actually it would have been 61 between between all three units last year, it was only two, and this year it would be 66 total, as they proposed. It would now be 75. So we would have it from 61 to 75 as it currently stands, as our totals. I would I would, ask, motion. I would ask that the motioner uh, include uh, 161 middle and 161 late to be. 27 tags each. And that would bring us in line with. Which was that? Okay, he, he would like this to be 27, 27, and that was a please, I think. So I'd go along with that amendment. Okay, second go along. Okay, so this was actually not an amendment. The, uh, the motion, the, the, I'd like to clarify the motion as it's been um, restated. He's going to and that would be for the next two unit groups below there, it would be 27 and 27. Yep, 27 there, 27 there. Wouldn't that keep us better in with the man success then? Yeah, we had talked, uh, told Commissioner Cavan that with probably 80 to 9 percent success in the early, you're only looking at a 50 to 55 percent in the two late hunts. So maybe, uh, you know, that shift, you would get the same number of bulls total harvested between those changes of shifting those tags in the early highly higher success hunt and taking them out of the lower Commissioner McBeth, late. comments on the motion? Uh, yes, I'd actually like to make a motion to uh, yes. amend the motion to add like Mr. Pearl. Okay, amendment to add. Um, for uh, hunt 4151 um, the uh, unit group 104, 108, 121 to change that from 28 to 24 
that's the White Pine County recommendation. And then the uh, next unit group, 108, 131, 132, to change that from three to one. That's also White Pine County. Um, and I believe Churchill County had a couple of recommendations, and that would be um, on the hunt 4156. That's the muzzleloader hunt. And that same 161, 164, 171, 173, to increase that from three to five. Well, on one seven, one six one to one six four, one seven one to one seven three, from three to five. Got it. And for the hunt four one six one, uh, same unit group one six one to one six four, one seven one to one seven three. Churchill wanted that to go from three to six. And I believe that on the antler, that is it. All right, so that's an amendment. Second, Chairman. Um, I'm waiting on some motion. Waiting on it to be seconded, or its motion to amend fails for lack of a second. And we'll back to the main motion. Chairman, um, comment on the main motion. I could probably go along with some of those changes. There's you lumped them all together there, and there's a few in there that I can't go along with. So. Um, so, well, I want to take them individually and start another amendment. I, I Why don't you just well, tell me which ones you have heartburn on? Well, I, I, I could go along with reducing the 28 and 104 to 24. Uh, look, why don't we just do it this way? Since that motion, that amendment failed, okay. try another one. We'll try one until we get one that um, failed for lack of a second. Let's try another one. Okay, um, I would move that, that we amend the motion. On uh, 104, 108, 121, from amend the uh, quota from 28 to 24. Hunt 4151, okay. Hunt 4151. Okay. That's the only one I'm going to deal with this time. Okay. You need a second on that? Um, wait, he's continuing. Oh, excuse me. No, that's the only one. That's the only one. one. Okay, so the main motion. I'll second. Okay. So it's been properly moved and seconded to approve all of the antlered hunts, and that includes 4102, 4151, 4156, 4160. This is a motion to amend. No. Well, I, okay, I'm trying to get the amendment. 4156, 4161, 4251. And 4256, 4261. Those that this this would change if this is amended, it would change that to read as approved by the department with the following exceptions, and that those are all explained on the screen right there, which is 24 tags in the one that starts the unit group starts with zero one zero four. 10 tags in the unit group that starts with 161 early, 27 and 161 mid, 27 and 161 late. Everything else would remain as proposed by the department. That's the amendment to the main motion. That's the amendment we're, we'd be voting on now. Everybody understand that amendment? All in favor of that amendment, signify by stating aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. We now have... A, a new main motion as amended those four changes as displayed on the screen are the only uh, well uh, that one's gone oh the one you just did down there that one's not there anymore okay got it <clears throat> that one's history and there shouldn't be any others I'll take them out except for okay you remember what it was okay just the uh, rifle changes 4151 is the only hunt that has been modified and they are accurately displayed right there on your on the screen in those four unit groups. So everybody understand the main motion as it's been amended. All in favor of the main amended motion signify by stating aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes 8 to 0. Contrary to popular opinion, there will be an elk antlered season. All right, antlerless season. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. At Lewis Hill. Oh, yes. Uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I'd just like to announce really quick that some of the copies of the county's recommendations uh, were double sided copies, but only one sided got copied on some of those. So some of the counties may not have uh, pages two and four, but there should be some fresh copies back there now that have all of those. And I have some up here if any, any commissioner needs one. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You're good. Does everybody have the. It's four pages. Four pages. Okay, I got Total of four there. pages of recommendations. Antlerless. Antlerless. Yeah. Uh, Commissioner Bogler. Move. We've discussed this significantly. Go ahead, sir. Uh oh. Harry Resident, <laughs> resident <laughs> out of order. <laughs> resident Elk Antlerless Hunt 4181. I'm make a motion that we accept the numbers presented by the Nevada Department of Wildlife except for 113 I would like to see that go back to at least the 48 instead of the 39 and that's it that's it second um do, so that's the only one we're voting on is 4181 I'll second that. Okay. Yeah, we'll second. Grant already seconded. All right. It's been properly moved and seconded to approve the antlerless 4181 season with the amendment to change 113 to 48. Does everybody understand we're only voting on this one hunt? Yes. Group. Oh. Uh, nine more. All in favor of that motion? Aye. Signify aye. by stating aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes eight to zero. So, anything else we're going to do on that? No motions. That means you don't have any muzzleloader antler or longbow hunts for antlers. Yeah. No depredation and antlers. Don't need any depredation. Don't need muzzleloader. Don't need longbow seasons. I'll make it. Okay, Commissioner McBeth. Um. I'll make a motion that we approve uh, the analyst hunts uh, 4176, 4111. Excuse me? What? Yeah, that's it. That's it. And that's Four. it. 4111 and 4176. As uh, presented by the department. Second. Does everybody understand the motion? All in favor of the motion, signify by stating aye. 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 All opposed? Motion passes eight to zero. Um, let's take a break and I'll come back and hit uh, sheep. Sheep, sheep and goat. We, we did them, we did them all. That's all yelled. Okay. There you go.